Okay, so in this video, we are attempting to do a whole problem. Okay, so we need to define our variables. We need to write the constraint equations. We need to write the objective function. We need to draw the graph. We need to find the vertices, find the solution, and write the solution in context. So the problem we are going to solve is this one. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to kind of highlight stuff that's all linked. So uh, a campsite has an area of 800 square meters and a tent and car takes 10 square meters and a camper van takes 25 square meters. So that's my first thing. The next thing it tells me is that there can only be up to 50 vehicles on the campsite at any one time. And the owner would like to have at least five camper vans at any one time. And finally, I'm told that they can have, oh, no, not finally. Uh, they're told they want to have at least 10 tents. And then lastly, they're telling me that tents earn a profit of $11 and camper vans earn a profit of $20 per site. So those are the bits that I'm going to use to form my equations. But before I form my equations, my first step is I need to write down what my variables are. So I'm going to define my variables and my variables are, I'm going to use T is the number of tent sites and C is the number of camper van sites. So I've got to be careful that I am being kept, that I'm defining what my variables are before I start. Right, so now I need to start writing my equations. So my first in equation comes from the yellow. I know a tent needs 10 square meters. And I know a camper van needs 25 square meters. And I know I have at most 800 square meters. The next constraint is the orange constraint. There cannot more, be more than 50 vehicles on a campsite at any one time. So tents plus camper vans has got to be less than or equal to 50. Now be careful because it says tent and car. So we're assuming that there is a car attached to every single tent. The owner would like to, would like to make to have at least five camper vans at any one time. So my orange, oh sorry, my green one is that camper vans are greater than or equal to five. And my fourth constraint is they would also like to have at least 10 tents at any one time. So tents are greater than or equal to 10. Now, if they don't give me something like that, then you've just got to think about the situation. And there might be an implied constraint that you can't get negative answers because sometimes these in equations would give you a solution if you had some that were negative. So you've just got to make sure that if they don't give you one that tells you that camper vans is greater than or equal to five and tents is greater than or equal to ten, then the implied constraint would be that camper vans is greater than or equal to zero and tenths are greater or equal to zero. Okay, so those are all of my constraints. Now comes the part where I need to write down my prof equation 
and actually again in this case it's really quite easy because they've given me that my profit equation is that tents earn eleven dollars and cat and provands earn twenty dollars and that equals my profit so that's my objective function so if i think back to my list of points that i had here i've done the first one define my variables i've formed the constraints and i've done the objective function so now i'm going to my graph so here's my graph remember that when we are drawing these graphs we change the inequation round so i'm going to go 10 I am having to use X's and Y's because my graph is in terms of X and Y. Uh, I'm choosing to use my letters still as T and C because that's just the way that I think about these things. You might choose to use X's and Y's. You might choose to use different letters. So there you go. I have managed to successfully draw my four inequations on my graph. So now I have my points of intersection, one, two, three, and four. Okay, those are my points of intersection that I'm going to be using in a second. So now I've drawn my graph, I'm now going to insert a table. So my points were 10, 5. Ten twenty eight, thirty twenty, and forty five, five. And so my profit equation was eleven dollars per tent plus twenty dollars per camper van, and there's my table. So I now have got a value that the most I will earn is $750, sorry, $730, and my maximum income will happen when I have 30 tents and 20 camper vans. So I'm going to go back to my original, so it's 30, 20, and it's 730. So, uh, I'm going to go to there and I'm going to say that the maximum profit is when the campsite has 30 tents. 20 camper vans and earns 
and profit of $730. And that is everything I need to do to answer a whole question. Okay, so until next time, uh, we will catch up again soon.